You are now listening to The I. Walter Show. Real talk about nothing. Good morning, everyone. This is Sunday morning at 1226 a.m. Eastern Time on Sunday, May 3rd, 2015. Um, Hey, you know what? Um, I went out tonight, or last night, I should say, at this point. It was Saturday night with a friend. She invited me from work. Um, to go to the Valley Forge Casino. Um, she couldn't, I guess, get anybody else to go with her. And I, you know, hesitate to say, hey, I'll go with you. I don't mind. Um, so she was very appreciative of, of me going with her over the Valley Forge Casino. So, and I got a free meal out of it. That wasn't the main point. I, I, I needed to get out. I told her that. I said I just needed to uh, get my mind off of work. Obviously, I think she did too. She likes going over to the casinos, different casinos, to gamble. I'm not a gambler, though. Uh, basically, all she does, though, is play the slot machines, but that's fine. So anyway, I parked deliberately. Have you ever been over the Valley Forge Casino, which used to be the Valley Forge Convention Center? Excuse me. Um, I deliberately parked all the way up near this industrial building, way on the other end of the parking lot. I deliberately did that. And I deliberately parked next to an island. And lo and behold, which means you're not supposed to park because the other side is a part of a, um, you know, I don't want to say an intersection, but a part of, you know, how you get in and out of parking spots. So I parked halfway in an island and halfway out. And lo and behold, two cars park right on top of my car in the island, painted island, which you're not allowed to, to park in. It's prohibited. So I don't know. People obviously don't have brains, or at least if they do, they're not even their asshole. They probably should look in the lost and found because they're obviously nowhere around the vicinity of their fucking body. Sorry about that. Tonight's going to definitely be a, just because of what I just said, it's going to be a language uh, detector thing. That just really pissed me off, though. Anyway, I do got a couple other stories to read. I don't have much tomorrow. I'm going to hopefully see with a friend, my Friend Todd, we're going to go see the Avengers movie um, later in the afternoon for one of the matinee shows. And hopefully it won't be too crowded because hopefully the Avengers, though, is doing well. I'm sure it is. I don't need to uh, say anything else about that. Anyway, there was a, um, I'll read a couple articles. I don't have much else to say. There's really nothing to talk about. I did watch, though, and I would have to say it's still really good, is The Big Bang Theory. I did watch finally last week's episode tonight and it was very funny i think that show still got some energy left there was some points in the show i thought that it was you know how can they go any further with this but they obviously show they can still do a strong and very funny show um it was the one where sheldon's mom and um his roommate um both the parent the moms come and obviously they're the moms are different than their children in the vice versa kind of thing it was pretty funny actually it was really funny um so my first story i'm just going to go through the stories and let it go at that tonight um was from the right wing news.com and it basically states or is titled newly released shocking statistics that the race race baiters don't want to see and basically what it's saying is um you know, you're always, you know, saying black on white or I mean white on black crime that more cops kill black people than white people. And that is completely false. Um, it basically states that the real uh, it says uh, that these facts put totally different spin on what occurs between white, black, Hispanics and the cops. It says on average, 130 cops were are killed every year. And it says the primary killer of the cops, even though they are a minority in the population, are black men. But I might have misread that. The primary killers of co- uh, killer of cops, even though they are a minority in the population, are black men. That's what it actually says. But it's and then it states white police officers kill approximately two thirds more white individuals than they do black. So, you know, that whole thing of like, yeah, we just, uh, I mean, cops only, uh, you know, focus on, um, cops only focus on black men and black people is completely wrong. Um, So that's what this is saying. It says that gives the lie to the claim that police target black individuals. 
So this story goes on and it says a little bit more. Um, I guess they're talking about what happened in Maryland. It's because there's a Maryland license plate. I thought that was Baltimore, but this is actually – there's a picture and it says Maryland. So I'm going by what the picture says. Um, it says 682 law enforcement officers were killed in the line of duty in the past five years in the United States to average out of 136 dead law enforcement law officers each year. And here are the numbers, 2010, 161, 21, uh, well, actually, that's two, yeah, here are the numbers. It says 2911, 171, so there was a typo there, obviously, 2911, they meant 2011, there was 171. In 2012, there was 126 cops killed, 2013, 107, and 2014, 117 so, um, I'm just kind of glancing over this to see what's like. Okay, on average, there are 96 such incidents among at least 400 police killings each year that were reported to the FBI by local police. Um, so, definitely, I would say check out that article, read it in its entirety before you make speculations what you hear on CNN and other BS stations because they're not telling you the truth. They're, you know, they're putting a definite heavy slant on the truth. So, you know, this is not 1984, folks. Okay, I'm going to go on to my next story. Um, this was – this is a lighter news. Unfor- okay, this is Up Rocks. I'll, I'll go with this. Um, Up Rocks Web Culture.com. It's basically just Up Rocks. That's U-P-R-O-X-X, all capital, dot com. It says, a councilman totally pulled a naked gun and left his microphone on while using the bathroom. And that was dated um, actually yesterday, I guess, at this point. Yeah, it was yesterday's news. No puns intended. Um, Oh, great. Okay, I just lost my... During a council meeting in Georgetown, Texas, a participating councilman excused himself to go use the bathroom. Though the assembly continued without him, it was as though he had never left the room. That was because he forgot to turn off his microphone. So they said this was like basically like a naked gun incident with this guy. I think it's freaking hilarious. So. Um, again, that was dated yesterday. It was on Up Rocks. I'm not going to tell you any more. If you want to read it, you know where to go or just write me and I will send you a link. Um, or just let me know, hey, I'd like to hear these stories in, in their entirety and not just a little bit here and there. Um, no, it's good, but I don't need to know this. Anyway, this was an interesting story. Unfortunately, it's pretty sad, too. Um, it's by um, the MyFoxPhilly.com website. And I was actually jumping in conclusions until I actually read the article. This was May 1st. Woman who dies swerving to miss red light. Runner held responsible for her own death. Well, you read that caption, you think the woman who read the uh, ran the red light was the one who was at fault. And unfortunately, she was dodging, this woman who got killed was dodging the person who had uh, avoided, or I mean, who flew through a red light, so she didn't want to get hit, so she swerved away from the person who went through a red light. She, This woman had the right of way. Um, I don't think it really uh, discloses her name. Actually, maybe it does. So I'll just read a little bit. It says, um, the Dallas mother driving home from work Tuesday swerved to miss someone running a red light. She lost control of her car and hit a utility pal- uh, pole and died. According to the police, the law say it was her fault. So she tries to avoid a car. That ran a red light, she ends up getting killed, and it's her own fault. That that doesn't make any sense. So I feel bad for this poor woman. Um, family member of the victim, 34-year-old Christina Williams, believes the other driver involved that left the scene should be responsible. And, yes, I do agree with that one. I will not take it any further. You can find that article. But, um, yeah, this poor woman... I've had that happen before. My father has had that happen numerous times where people dot, they just go right through red lights. I've seen people go through solid red lights. Not that it just turned red and it was like yellow and turned red. No, I'm talking like a red light that is 
been red for a while, you know, that 10 or 15 seconds, and they go right through it like it, they, they didn't ever even saw it. I, I caught that many a times coming home late at night from work. So I really feel sorry in my, you know, I'm sorry for that woman's loss. That's a shame. Anyway, this one I was um, close to home in many ways, but it was kind of funny. Um, not really. Unfortunately, it is a Huffington Post crime from tw- uh, May. It says May 3rd, but you know what? It's post in today's date. It was actually yesterday. It was two days or a couple days ago. It's, I guess the original date of this article was 4-30-2015. So that was um, April 30th. Anyway, it says, and I'd like to see more of this. I hate to tell you. Pennsylvania McDonald's bans unaccompanied minors after assault. And this is in Altoona, Pennsylvania. I'd like to see more of that because I would go out to eat more often. I, I'm afraid to go out anymore, I swear, because people are such freaking idiots. And these younger people are just really inconsiderate beyond belief. Does that make any sense? Because it does to me. Anyway, um, the teens of Altoona, Tuna, Pennsylvania, can now add McDonald's to the list of places like R-rated movies and liquor stores, at which they are not allowed to hang out. Um, it says the McDonald's franchise in central Pennsylvania town announced this week that no one under the age of 18 will be able to be allowed in his restaurant without being accompanied by adult CBS Philadelphia reports. Um, yeah, so the franchise Gerald Harrington uh, made the move days after he was allegedly assaulted by a group of 40 teenagers whom he had refused to allow into the restaurant, according to the Associated Press. Now, two the police were called into the scene and charged four of the teens with simple assault, defiant trespass, and other unnamed offenses. Um, The Altoona Mira reports that the police maintain a presence at the McDonald's on Tuesday and where two local teens teens stood outside the restaurant holding signs protesting the band. Well, you know what? Don't act like idiots and you wouldn't have that band. Act like Young adults. You're a you're, you're teenager, you're a young adult. A um, few other teens apparently showed up at the restaurant that day, perhaps because there are four other McDonald's locations within um, Altoona city limits. We'll go to those and get banned from those, you idiots. So anyway, there's that story. Um, this one was another earth shatter news thing that is just pathetically stupid. And I'm sick of these stories, but, you know, if they appear, I'm going to make um, them note it. Anyway, it was uh, foxphillynews.com. It says, Nepal earthquake donation jar stolen, pregnant clerk threatened. Um, This African-American man actually threatened a pregnant woman in a convenience store as he robbed her. And he said, if you basically have any intentions of calling the police, I will kill you. Um... Yeah, because it basically says that those words stuck out for this woman. You can find this article. I'm just basically going to paraphrase it because if I try to read it, I'll I'll really ruin it. Um, It looks like it was a Himalayan grocery store for three years. It's been around for three years. But, yeah, it said the robber also took 300 out of the donation jar sitting on the counter. So that is just ridiculous. What do people think that, oh, well, I am so repressed and been so mistreated. It's like you haven't been alive long enough to realize that. And you think that everybody um, has to empty their pockets for you. You need to grow up and actually get that out of your head. That is not true. I know people. I had a, the one friend from college. She's always suffering with a lot of freaking pain every day. And I don't hear her compl- um, telling other people, you – owe me this you owe me that i never hear that from her and trust me i want and i carried my cross for years you don't hear me complaining about it. i'll complain about people but bs like that is just a different story that that's just like really pathetic um childish behavior and i don't know how else to put it these people just need to grow up and uh take their diapers off and start to wear some uh, pull-ups and start acting stop acting like idiots Okay, next story. Um, This is also myphillyfox.com. 
and it is entitled Employee Arrested for Allegedly Raping an Elderly, elderly Woman in a Nursing Home. This was in Cedar Hill, Texas, Fox 4. It is. It basically says a man working at the Cedar Hill nursing home was arrested Thursday after another, another staff member caught him with his pants down inside an elderly woman's room. Um, it says Cedar Hill police said it happened at Cedar Place Assistant Living Center on Pleasant Run Road. Um, Ryan Ote, 27, I probably got his name wrong, who cares, was found in bed with his pants off next to a 76-year-old resident who limit, uh, limited mental function, police said. She was, he was basically raping a 76-year-old woman. Come on. Um, I'm gonna, I don't care if I get his name wrong. The guy should be shot. Um, anyway, Ote, because that, that sounds good to me, was taken into custody after being questioned about the incident. Um, he was charged with aggravated sexual assault on an elderly, and, or it says actually says that assault of an elderly or disabled person shouldn't it be both? And his bond was set at five hundred thousand dollars. Well, that's a given. Any guy, even if he basically um, basically uh, sneezes wrong, he's going to get a five hundred thousand dollar bail. So, if unfortunately, if it was a woman raping a 76-year-old man, she would have got a slap on the wrist and a high five. Sorry about that. I just had to throw that in there. It's, it's just totally wrong either way. Anyway, police and the nursing home are now working um, to determine if they if there was there any other victims. So, hopefully not because, yeah, then that guy should um, be put in an oven. Sorry about that. That wasn't very nice. Anyway, next story, which I am not going to read because I don't want to know anything about it. It's basically comicbook.com. They said Avengers Age of Ultron movie. That's like two and a half hours, by the way. Basically had a lot of Easter eggs in there, basically hidden uh, little secrets, I guess. So it it seems like it's going to be a lot in that film that will uh, evolve. A friend told me, yeah, there were certain things even – after the credits that lead to a whole new universe, I assume of I'm going to guess of the whole Marvel Comics superhero thing. It's going to even branch out even further. So again, I don't want to really read it because I haven't seen the movie yet. So um, it says, "Do not read any further if you don't want any events from the Avengers: Age of Ultron spoiled." So guess what? Not going to read it. But I just figured if you want to read it, you can check it out. Anyway, uh, last story for tonight, another downfall, myfoxphilly.com once again, Carlos, and I can't say his last name, and I'm not going to even try to pronounce. This one's pretty entertaining, but I, yes, I got to definitely read it. It was posted on the 30th, 30th of uh, April, so I hope I got the other date right, because I said 30th, I hope I didn't say 30th of May, because I did mean April, by the way. But this story is 30th of April, and it says, uh, it looks like Brennington, Florida, Fox 13, a man is under arrest Thursday after deputies say a grandmother caught him in her 12-year-old granddaughter's bedroom overnight. Um, According to the Matinee County Sheriff's Office, 24-year-old Carlos, I'm not going to say his last name, met this young girl online. Impressive. Um, they say the two made plans to have sex, so he went over her house, snuck into the bedroom, and was there for about an hour until his grandmother walked in and caught them. I assume in the act. It doesn't say that. Um, the family called nine one one, and the deputies say they held him until deputies. Uh, well, it says deputies say they held him until deputies arrived to take him into custody. So that. I assume some were probably like some type of, I want to say first responders, which is not correct, but they probably got uh, other law enforcement involved because it's not really clear how they wrote it. Anyway, um, it ends by saying that they say this guy, um, um, Carlos, was has minor injuries caused by the girl's family, no word on what happened before the deputies deputies arrived investigation continues 
Uh, oh, okay. The family called nine one one. I assume what they did is the family probably was uh, stained stained him until the deputies arrived. I think that's what they meant to say. They just didn't write it very clearly. And that was on FoxPhilly.com. So I'm not the only one who messes things up. That's good to know, actually, for me. Um, so, yeah, I was going to leave it at that. Actually, it was funny when I was trying to look for how to maybe pronounce the name of this town in Florida. Unfortunately, I came up with a pretty sad story as well, and it was marked yesterday. It's a cute little girl, um, and I can't even pronounce her name, so I'm not going to even try. But it's actually in the – it looks like Brandonton.com. Hurled. It's it's a local paper in Florida, but it says that the 17 year old was shot during a fight in the parking lot of uh, the Brandonton movie theater, according to the Matinee um, County Sheriff's Office. It's a shame. She's a cute kid. Um, she looks like she was a cheerleader by the picture. Um, unfortunately, you know, I feel again. I'm my heart goes out for these kids who get shot as. Um, on these crossfires or whatever, you know, it's, but anyway, it was, um, I did put it on my Facebook page. If you're interested, I just don't want to, you know, ruin this story or, you know, not that it's a good story. It's a sad story. This poor kid got shot on a crossfire. It's, you know, it's, I always, my heart goes out for people like that. So anyway, um, that's all I really have to say for tonight. And maybe I'll be back tomorrow night with a show for Sunday afternoon or sunday evening into monday morning but everyone have a blessed sunday i'm going to say that because i know it's going to piss off somebody and i will be back later on